What? What did you say? Rachel is still there. Don't sell the hotel. Hello guys and welcome to my channel again. Today we are continuing with the story of the suicide of Rachel Foster. Uh, before we continue, like always, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe and click the notification bell. Okay, so uh, this is where we left off last time. The only thing that happened until now is that I had this conversation with Irving once again because of the autosave feature of the game. Uh, so right now we have to go to the pantry because our friend Nico is hungry and this is staff storage so we have to find the pantry but I'm guessing Nicole. that... Irving. Okay. Uh, how long has it been since someone's inspected the pantry? Inspected? You mean stocked? I just like to know if I should choose between malnutrition and food poisoning. There'll be tons of things to eat. Mm. Oh, definitely no mice or roaches. Pretty sure about that. I'm more concerned about the bacterial world. A mouse ain't my ideal of a roommate. When I was growing okay. up, I used to love chasing mice. Now they're gonna chase me. Uh, you'll see. There's nothing to worry about. Okay, so we need to find that pantry. It would have been great if we got some sort of a location on the map where we are at the moment. So right now... Where are we? So maybe we are in that hole right here. So this means that if we go through that door and maybe take a right here, let's just, okay, so this laid somewhere down, food storage. Okay, so I guess that we have to go in here. Uh, we have a lot of frozen boxes and some soup. So maybe let's check. Fuck yeah. Okay, so I was expecting this to happen at some point. And we got an achievement, freeze to death. Hey, you kidding? So maybe there are multiple endings to this game? So this could be one of them. Us dying in here. I really hope that it's not, but... Let's just see. Okay, so the door is now mysteriously opened again. Oh, uh, I almost forgot. There might be a problem with the fridge door. Just make sure it doesn't Are you close. fucking with me? <laughs> no. Wait, what did I say? It would have been more useful to know that before I got locked in. Oh, holy shit. I'm a freaking space cadet. Yeah, I could have died in there. Yeah, I think that this is one of the certainly most useful information that he could have given to us. Definitely not something that you should hold back. Okay, so I'm freaking lost again. I mean, this place is enormous and I still haven't gotten... Okay, so we're back at the office, okay. So once we're here, I kind of know where we're at. So what do we have? The microwave could be useful to heat the beans. Uh, I guess there was... maybe there was a microwave in the master seat. Or maybe we need to go to the kitchen. Let's just take a look at the master seat if we have a microwave there. And if not, we're gonna go back downstairs to the kitchen and try and heat something there. I just... Take a look in here. Okay, so no microwave here. We have a kitchen here with a microwave that for some reason doesn't for some reason doesn't work. So maybe this is not the micro the microwave that we are supposed to use. So let's just go back to the kitchen. Okay, so here is the microwave. Let's just try and heat our soup or canned beans, whatever it is that we took 
from the pantry. I mean, if it's taking so long and we're supposed to wait for it here, I'm absolutely sure that something must happen while we wait. Or maybe not, maybe the game is just a test testing our patience. Let's see if the food is any good. Two minute microwave. We surely didn't wait two minutes, but I mean, I'm glad that they didn't make us wait two minutes. Okay, so now that she's fat. Uh huh. Sorry to interrupt your continental breakfast. Uh, I got a hold of Mr. Jenkins, the attorney. Uh, once you get in here, I'm only taking good news. Let's see. About time. When's he getting here? He tried to make it. His car ended up in a ditch between York Road and Valley. Okay, so oh, come I, on. I don't know where that is. After just a mile. Going to cry. I'll finish the inspection. Yeah, we're gonna finish well, the inspection anyways. Well, might as well finish the inspection. I can do it without Jenkins. Uh, he told me to give you a message. Here it is. He says to... Hmm. This is a swear word, and you don't need to hear it. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, Nicole, at this point, start assessing the general conditions of the hotel on your own. Uh, jot down what you want to keep. I recommend you start with the second floor. It's surely the most damaged. Please, only call me if you've got good news. Okay, so I guess that this means that we have to go to the second floor. So let me just find my way there okay so we see some stairs here we are back at the main hall the reception and we'll have to see about that damaged second floor uh, right now we are in the overlook so we should be right next to the master suite and yeah in this direction this is the master suite and here on the left we should have some stairs okay and let's go and see what we have let me just take a look at my objectives irving suggests to inspect the second floor first let me just take a look what are we getting ourselves into so we have the museum and an attic so i'm sure that we'll have to visit the attic at some point so what do you think left or right Museum is that way, this way we only have rooms, so maybe let's go and finally see that museum that we have here. So we can't enter this, okay, so we have some mold. We have to report it, I guess. There's some serious water stains on the second floor. That floor is pretty run down. There's some windows missing and water damage too. Yeah. Okay, so is this the famous museum that we've been seeing for so long on the map? So this is some kind of a Native American museum, but there isn't much here except for this guardian totem. And we have here the stuff only thing, uh, so maybe we just need to find some more things to investigate maybe some more problems or something that we want to keep actually uh, maybe we can go in to one of these rooms no okay so do we have anything here maybe a broken window or something like that we have a fire extinguisher uh, we have some stairs here. Okay. Stuff only. So what do we have here? This is a sealed door. Let's just report it. Here I am. Uh, what's up? The hallway on the second floor is cut off. The door to the west wing is locked. Your father started renovations but he didn't get the bank loan and had to stop. Leonard's attic is at the end of the hallway. His man cave. Does that mean something to you? I tried so hard to forget about that room for years. Anyway, uh, the West Wing is pretty run down after all this time with no windows. Hello? Are you there? 
Yeah. You always have an answer to everything. What do you mean? You know too much, tell me the truth. Let's... Tell me something. What are you hiding from me? Yeah. I don't understand, Nicole. You know how to turn on the furnace. You know where to find food and that the fridge door is busted. You know my family's story and the hotels. It's up to FEMA to deliver the supplies to isolated places like the Timberline. I've been up there with the truck every month since I've been on duty. Is something wrong? I don't know. I don't know what you know and what you don't know. Uh, what difference does it make? None. I... So we have some weird Sorry looking book you. here. No one can upset me. I better keep doing the inspection. Yeah. So are we... Are we going to the attic or not? I guess that we will need to find the key for that chain or something else to break the chain off uh, okay so is this the phone that is ringing yeah hello uh, maybe you could have picked up the phone yes who is this okay why not what what did you say Rachel is still there don't sell the hotel is this a joke who is this you're gonna pay for this lame ass joke. I have a phone, a cell phone. I'm talking with FEMA and I'm gonna get them to call the sheriff. Okay, so I guess this scared him off. But yeah, nice thing to hear. Rachel, the girl who allegedly killed herself 10 years ago, is still here. Woohoo! Uh, so we were already there. Uh, what is our objective? We have nothing on our to-do list. We kind of went, I guess, everywhere. So what we need to do is now report. Uh, I got a different problem. Yeah. I don't have time to rehash my past with you. I've got a different problem. Someone just called the hotel. What? Who? I don't know. Uh, yeah, she could Who gets their kicks out of crank calling me? Well, your word gets around pretty fast. Uh, what did they say? They said, Rachel is alive. Don't sell the hotel. Hmm. <sighs> Idiot. There's something else that doesn't make sense. The phone lines are down. Leonard stopped paying the bill months ago. I'll ask someone to run a check. Uh, they broke my balls. Can you do that? Uh, okay. Unbelievable. I mean, with the storm, the closed roads, and people croaking and all, someone has nothing better to do than bust my balls? Um, I Around guess. these parts, time passes in a different way. Some stories seem like they've been forgotten, but actually they just sink down. Sink down? Like tea leaves in a cup. That's creepy. What do you mean? Sounds creepy. That girl's death. Rachel. It was the result of painful events, and now it's someone's obsession. You talking Who? about anyone in particular? Oh. Her death ruined two families that everyone looked up to. Yours and Rachel's. Your father, McGrath, the genius astrophysicist. And Rachel's father, the upstanding Reverend Foster, known all over the county. <laughs> Not something easy to forget around here. You know what I think? They can go get fucked, every one of them. I know what we went through. No one else. Fuck them. Okay, so Rachel's father was a reverend and if I'm... Okay, so day three. I think that we still have some time. Maybe go through day three and see what interesting happens in this day. Okay, so we are back in our old room and it seems to be either sunrise or sunset. I have absolutely no idea. Hey, cutie pie. Daddy? Nicole, it's Irving. Oh, <sighs> sorry. I haven't slept like that for ages. Uh, yeah, let's just... I must have fallen asleep. I haven't slept like that since I was a kid. You had a tough day yesterday. 
I think I had a dream. Erotic books? About? Leonard. Okay. Maybe. Okay. Uh, I need you to pay attention, though. Should I worry? The storm brought down some power lines. There are blackouts all over. Ah, uh, this means that Actually, we're... Actually, the lights are acting a little weird. It's gonna be dark. I was afraid of that. I don't like the idea of you up there on your own in the dark. We gotta do something. My electrical know-how is slightly limited. It's okay. I can guide you to the emergency generator. If we activate it, you'll be self-sufficient. Uh, where's the hitch? Too easy. Where's the hitch? Uh, there are two ways of getting to the circuit breaker. Straight through the garage's side door, or from the floor you're on. But? The garage side door is stuck. You'll have to pass through the crawl space along the entire building and climb down from your floor. If the power goes out, you'll be completely in the dark. Hell All right. yeah. What do I have to do? Uh, check the closet in your father's apartment and see if you left anything you can use for lighting. Ah, oh, on my way. Uh, we'll have to... Let me just report the uh, freaking erotic books. I'm not surprised the academic world distanced itself from Leonard. Why'd you say that? Magic in the stars? Life beyond life? The physics of the impossible? You heard of them? He was a man of science. And science has a method. Oh, maybe he was searching for a new point of view. Yeah, sure. Tell that to the treatment of quantum conscience that he never finished writing. I catch your drift. Okay, so we pick up... Press 2 to equip the Polaroid. I found a Polaroid. Family photo? Anything important? Fuck. No, I mean a camera. It looks like it works. You want to take a photo of the generator? No, you moron. I was thinking of using the flash for lighting. Ah, smart. You can try. I had just one like this. I wonder who this belonged to. Who this belonged to? Leonard, maybe? Maybe. Some client probably left it. You can't imagine what people leave in hotels. Oh, I could tell you about the rubber friend that Mr. Rochford's widow left here in 82. Mayor Linden's kids and I used it as a miniature Indian totem pole for the whole summer. It was a huge scam. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, yeah. Anyway, the Polaroid's better than nothing. The light from the flash could come in handy. Mm-hmm. Okay, so now how are we getting to there? Uh, what do we have in our objective? Irving said I must enter the crawl space in the first floor staff area. Okay, so I guess that we're going to the first floor staff area. In the dark. Okay, I mean, it's not that bad. It definitely could have been worse. And of course we have some thunders going on. I guess that this is the... Uh, is, is it this? Or... Staff storage? Uh, let me just take a look at the map. So there is nothing saying here where we should go exactly. Um, it's not here. So maybe it's in this part of the hotel. Hey, okay, almost there. I think the lights are getting worse. You need to move fast. On the same floor of your apartment, in the staff area, there's a small storeroom. Your father asked us several times to fix the lock. Fingers crossed, it's still broken. That's where the access to the crawl space is. The crawl space? I'd totally forgotten that. Remember where to go? No, but I do remember the panels were really hard to open. I wasn't allowed to go in there. What happens when I get to the closet? You'll have to go down to the breaker box and switch it on. All right. Doesn't sound like rocket science. Uh, hurry up, please. You suck at reassuring people. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do here. So we are back in the museum. 
Alexandra must enter the crawl space in the first floor staff area. I get that. I just don't know where that is. Okay, so we found ourselves a flashlight and here is the crawl space. I found the crawl space and also a dynamo flashlight. Know how to use it? I think I just have to push the lever continuously. Is everything okay? Uh... When I was a kid, I used to crawl through tunnels like a mouse. But the crawl space seems so narrow now. Maybe you gained weight. <laughs> it's called growing up, <laughs> idiot. Okay. Let's just go through the crawl space. And... Yeah, I'm absolutely sure that maybe in 20 seconds all of the lights will go out. Shit! What's wrong? I am totally in the dark. I'd appreciate some help. Uh, okay, stay calm. Uh, can you see the bundle of cables above your head? Yeah. Uh, anyway, there should be some cables along that. Uh, yeah, I know what a bundle is. Okay, okay. Easy does it. All you need to do is follow them and you'll get to the generator room. Don't go any other way, otherwise who knows where you'll end up. Perfect. I got the flashlight, sorta. I got my breadcrumb trail, more like my cable trail, whatever. I can do it. Alright, yep. Yeah. Easy does it. Yeah. Just... Open the door. Uh, how am I supposed to open this? Okay. So I'll just have to push it hard. Okay, so is this the generator? Okay, so we have some lipstick here. We're just gonna pick it up. Uh, what's up? Uh... Hi, I want to ask you something. Okay, uh, go ahead. How long has the hotel been closed? Uh, about four years. Uh, yeah, from 89. I mean, did anyone think about doing a thorough clean of the basement? Don't know. Uh, probably pretty rushed. Why? I found something. Another Polaroid? A lipstick. Huh. A lipstick. What's a lipstick doing here? It's... a... Uh, lipstick? You don't get it. It looks really old. I remember this brand. The, the girls at school used it. Weird. What? It didn't dry out. I could even use it now. It's perfect. Uh, I'm afraid I better don't not do it. Irving, this brand doesn't exist anymore. It's been... I, I don't know, nine or ten years. Ten years, huh? Strange someone should wait ten years to open a lipstick just to use it, don't you think? Why are you telling me this, Nicole? You want to get pretty there with the generator? Are you crazy? Nicole, it's just another one of those things customers forget. Uh, I... well... yeah. You're probably right. Yeah, but is he? Okay, so... Okay, yeah. Yeah, I think that I'll end the episode here. Because I'm not sure how long day 4 will be. Uh, let me just see if there's any dialogue starting here or something like that. I hope that you enjoyed this episode. Uh, things are definitely starting to... Let me just cut her off here. Uh, things are definitely starting to feel and look a little bit creepier. Uh, with the whole Rachel thing and the uh, lipstick and the phone call. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, leave a like, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.